Now, although I've pre-recorded this video back in April, the day that you are watching this is the day of the BTS, the British Tarantula Society Exhibition. And I bet you right now I'm having an absolutely amazing time. Although actually right now I should be home, or if not home, at least on my way home. If I'm not home at the time this goes out, that means there was some sort of car trouble or journey trouble on the way back home. So fingers crossed for me guys that I'm actually sat at home looking at all my goodies right now. But anyway, we are here to talk about isopods today. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. You know what, just talking about the BTS show has got me all flustered and excited and I need to be talking about today's isopod, which is the Porcelio Lavis. Now I'm cheating a little bit again like I did in the Prunosis video by adding two colour morphs that I currently keep because I don't think doing a video on each of these two separately will really be worth it. And the two colour morphs we're going to be talking about is a Porcelio Lavis Orange and the Porcelio Lavis White. Both the same species but two different colour morphs that I keep separately here in the realm. Now this video done normally might sound very similar with only slight differences to the Pruinosis video. So instead, I'm going to go about this one a little bit differently. I'm going to do a comparison. So we're going to do a positives comparison and negatives comparison before we go on to additional information. So we will be comparing the Porcelio Lavis with the Porcelio Pruinosis in the positives first off. So unlike the Pruinosis, Porcelio Lavis are bigger. So they are bigger and bulkier isopods. I find that the orange colour morph is still pretty on point, but maybe not quite as vibrant as in the Pruinosis, but I do think the colour is still beautiful. And again, with the white, I think that in the Pruinosis, talking about their colour, it again is a little bit more crystal white than the Lavis is. But maybe that's just because they are bigger and you can see the segments more. I, I'm not quite sure. Or you can see the digestion more for the colour of food. I'm not quite sure. But coloration still in Lavis is absolutely amazing. And I do thoroughly enjoy keeping them. Now another positive about Lavis is that, in my opinion, comparison to Porcelio Noides Pruinosis, the Lavis are a bit more protein hungry. Why is that a positive? Well, it makes it more fun. So you chuck them in a little bit of protein, you're gonna watch them eating that or carrying it around in their little mouths and it's really cute and because they're slightly bigger as well, you can actually watch them dragging it around and feeding on it and I just think it's really, really nice. So I always add in a weekly, if not weekly, fortnightly in some cases, protein source, just a small amount to my Porcelio Lavis and they really enjoy it. Another positive is the fact that they are really, really easy to come by, just like Pruinosis. And they are pretty cheap as well. At least the two colour morphs I'm talking about here today are pretty cheap as well. Orange being cheaper than the white form, which is exactly the same in the Pruinosis. Their orange is cheaper than their white form too. But the Lavis is slightly more expensive, at least in what I've seen in pricing. The Pruinosis is cheaper than your Lavis, but the Lavis still get it in a positive because they're still dirt cheap, still dirt cheap. You can still get a colony for a fiver or less. It's pretty decent. And there are absolutely crud tons of Lavis colour morphs out there. And there are some that are not being mentioned in this video because they do deserve their own video. So there, there's a decent amount of colour morphs out there. Same with Porcelio Scaber. In fact, I think there's more interesting ones in Scaber. Um, than Lavis, but we'll get to that when those videos come out. So we do need to talk about negatives. Now, again, in comparison to Prunosis, Lavis are also really hefty breeders. I think Prunosis breed quicker, so that's a little bit more of a negative if you don't want a huge colony. 
but Levis, once they get going, they really do get going. So again, you can get overrun quite easily. And again, they're so common to come by that trying to shift them will be difficult. And another negative linked with their population control is that they, if you accidentally put one, as long as it's female, in another tank, like if you've accidentally transferred one, you're gonna have issues in that next tank. So we talked about Prunosis escaping. Well, I haven't actually had my Lavis escape, but what I did do was buy, I don't know if it was some cockroaches or something soil dwelling off somebody that must have had Porcelio Lavis orange mankai in there. Um, it might have even been a different ice pod species. I can't remember, but, or it might have even been the substrate that I used. I might have reused some substrate from somewhere that had mankai in, I don't know, but I've got an enclosure over this way um, that kept some banana roaches, and I do like to mix my roaches with isopods because I find that the isopod population booms, but by accidentally putting some Lavis orange in there, I now have my own culture of Lavis orange in with my roaches and separately and that is going to be a complete, complete and utter bee ache to separate them from those roaches because the roaches as nymphs are soil dwelling so I can't even just take out the substrate so if you accidentally allow Lavis in somewhere else they are going to breed and that is going to be problematic for you because I wanted a very different species to be living with my banana roaches and I cannot do that because the Lavis and their breeding abilities they are going to outcompete any other or well, most other isopods that i will put in there um and colonize the tank again so you you just have to be really really careful if you keep labis because they will breed in lots of different conditions which again to some people is a positive but to me it is a negative because it's a pain in the bum there isn't really any other negatives to talk about um overall decent cheap isopod just be careful about reusing substrate or if you buy anything soil dwelling off somebody else whether it be a millipede cockroaches or something else if they've kept them near even near um lavis colonies they you may well get mankai in that baby isopods which will develop this problem so we're going to move on to additional information now and in additional information i normally discuss whether i plan on selling these isopods and the answer is yes so both my whites and my oranges are going to be going for sale uh, they would have been at the show today hopefully you guys bought them because i really actually kind of don't want to take them back home um, i bought Levis for substrate testing so i've spent a couple of years now testing different excuse me substrate blends and i needed a mixture of both really easy isopods like Porcelio Lavis um, and slightly more complex isopods to see how breeding conditions work and feeding conditions work and so on and so forth with my different substrate blends. That's why I have quite a lot of multiple isopod species um, and now I've got to the point where I'm quite happy with my blends that I want to move on to more complex isopods more rare and expensive isopods because i feel confident enough that they're not just going to die off if i were to spend out that money and now that my testing phases are pretty much over within reason i am trying to pass on a lot of my cheaper end isopods so as this video is coming out on the day of the bts did you attend did you buy them off me if you bought them off me comment below because this video is recorded in april i won't know who's bought them off me. If I've come home with them, I'm gonna be terribly upset. So someone please let me know if you did buy them off me. And no doubt when I do a video about the BTS show that I've attended, I'll probably let you know what stock I came back home with to try and shift it then. So look forward to a future video to see whether I did or didn't come back home with my Porcelio Lavis. But again, as I said in previous videos, do not let my personal negatives put you off as a species just to keep, to, to gain your confidence in isopods. These are entry level isopods and they will be fantastic for you. And even if you're an experienced keeper, but never kept the Procellio Labus orange or white, go for it. Because they are fun, they are enjoyable. I just need the space. So stay tuned guys for videos coming up about the BTS show. I really hope that I had an amazing time and you will soon find out. So please 
Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, make sure the bell icon's turned on so that you'll get notified when those videos come out. And if you even said hello to me at the BTS show today, comment me below that as well. Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye bye.